Hey everyone, it's Master Trainer Margaret and I have a very special Tuesday tip for you because it's not just a tip, it's an entire workout. This is a lymphatic walking workout using the T-Tap techniques. I'm super excited to share this. You can do this workout anytime. And of course, I'm filming this the week of Christmas so everybody's busy running around. You can still get in your workout. You can still get your lymphatic system pumping. You can still feel great throughout the holidays and beyond. So join me for this workout. Okay, let's get started. We're just gonna step. I'll give you form tips along the way. Just follow along. So you're gonna step toe to heel. Step in place. You're thinking about straightening the knee each time. When you straighten the knee each time, you move more lymph because you have some lymph nodes behind that knee. So with your lower body, you're thinking to keep the feet straight toe to heel. You're gonna think about that pubic bone pulling up to get your tailbone slightly under that will decompress your low back and strengthen your low abs. So you keep that activation. And as you keep that, where you're thinking about pulling up the pubic bone, you'll feel it more in your glutes, in your thighs, and also in that tummy. So with every single step, you'll feel that. So you're gonna step and step, toe, heel. You're thinking toe to heel. You're thinking to have your weight like a tripod. Your waist center of gravity is in your heels. You're gonna let those toes gently come up with each step if you can. And now with the upper body, keep the shoulders back and tall. Chin slightly tucks in. I want you to think tall with the torso, no collapsing down. Tall with the torso. You can press your hands to get yourself tall. But remember, no leaning back and no slouching over. It's tall and straight as much as you can. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side. We're gonna be doing different movements here. We're gonna be doing some arm movements as well. So let's go ahead and go side to side. So it's side, side. Lead with the knee, you need to lead with the knee. Don't do this. You wanna think lead with the knee each time. Keep those hands coming forward, forward. This right here squeezes between your shoulder blades. You have a lot of lymph nodes along that spine and between your shoulder blades. Doing this movement right here will get in that Back, it feels really great. Side to side. Remember to keep it tall and stacked. Keeping the torso tall as you go side to side, side to side, and last time side to side. Now come to the center and step. Now we're gonna do some things to get our heart rate up. We're gonna do some arms moves. This really works the entire body, but you gotta keep that alignment. We're gonna keep the shoulders back. Chin slightly tucks, but you pretend like someone's pulling the crown of your head to the ceiling. And remember, no arching your back out. <laughs> you need to make sure. Stack it. Pubic bone comes up after the low tummy and the glutes with every single step. Okay, now we're gonna do some arm squeezes. So, squeeze and in. Swing those arms back. Squeeze and in. You should feel some pulling down your arms. That's your lymphatic fluid and your blood increasing circulation and lymphatic pumping. Now go to the chest and back. Chest and back. You're flicking those fingers forward and pulling them back each time. And when you pull it back each time, I want you to feel those deltoids. Push it and back, push it and back now above the face and in. Face and in. Face and in. You should feel your heart rate coming up. Face and in. Last time, face and in. Now at the chest, out at the chest. Flicking it out and bring it back in. Make it definite, don't be lazy. Keep it really strong through that whole motion. Good, now down, swinging up. Swing and up, swing and up. But keep that tummy activated all the time. Swing and up, swing and up. Last time your heart rate should be getting up there. And in, and now just step. <laughs> That's a lot. You'd be surprised how much that actually raises your heart rate and you're just stepping in place. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do some elbow pulls. These are really great for moving the lymphatic fluid from your armpits down into your thoracic duct and also pulling that lymphatic fluid from your hands and your arms. So here's the swings. Elbows come to the body, chin in, tall torso, belly activated all the time. Remember, straightening the knee every time. So here we go. So swing, swing. Elbow pull, elbow pull, swing, swing. Elbow pull with jazz hand, swing, swing. Pull those elbows up with the jazz hand, swing, and swing. Now we're gonna do it with a mitten hand. So remember, pull back the fingertips, stretch the thumb. Ready, here we go. So it's pull, pull, 
swing, swing, pull, pull, swing, swing. Stretch the thumbs each time. You really feel it down the back. And you stretch those thumbs every single time. Now just step. Feel that heart rate coming up a little bit. Now we're going to do some side to side. Here we go. So it's side, side. Remember, bring those hands, palms towards each other as you bring them in. To the side every time. Side. Really remember to keep it tall, okay? You're not collapsing back and you're not leaning back into your heels. You want to keep it balanced. In, in. You'll feel it on the outer thigh when you leave with the knee. In, in. And now come to center. Now keep stepping. Okay, we're going to do some more stuff for your heart rate, all right? Bring your arms up. Straight. Now, if this is too much cardio for you, you can always just modify and just keep stepping. It's always able to be modified. So here we go. So palms towards me, pull back the fingertips, stretch the fingers, stretch the thumbs away. Ready? Here we go. So it's down, two, three, and up, two, three. Notice where you feel that in the arms. And up, two, three. Down, two, three. And up, two, three. Last time, down, two, three. And up. Okay, now. Thumbs to the back wall. You're gonna feel different on the shoulders this time. Down two, three, and up. 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 It's a lot more. Down and up. Down and up. Last time, down and up. Down and up. Now come up to the shoulder. Keep it there. Keep everything stacked. Don't lose your alignment. Keep pressing with those knees. Ready, here we go. So we're gonna go up and pull. Up slightly above the shoulders and pull. Up and pull. Would you think both those shoulder blades sliding down the back? Up and pull. Up and pull. Last time and pull. Up and pull. Now all the way. So up, pull, and all the way down. Up, pull, all the way down. Really keep it in alignment the entire time as you pull it down and all the way down. Last time, up, pull. All the way down, hunch it up. This is a great, if you get tight traps whenever you do walking workouts, you need to do this. <laughs> hunch it up, hunch, hand release. Two, three, four. One more hunch, hunch, hand release. Two, three, four. Now we're gonna go side, side. Remember to lean with that knee all the time, pushing. Feeling those muscles in between your shoulder blade with the hand. Stretch that thumb. It's a mitten hand. Stretch that fingers and pull it back. Now just relax your arms. Go side to side. You should feel it kind of on that inner thigh and also on the outside edge. And in. Last time. And in and keep stepping. Okay, now we're gonna do some taps. So these are lymphatic taps. Whenever you tap, you drain, you trigger lymph, be drained from the groin and also your thoracic duct. So you're gonna be going like this. One, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. It's like you're squishing a bug with that foot. You're gonna be pressing with that big toe. Toes will be up, jazz toes, as you tap. So it's tap and tap. Tap. This triggers the lymph to be drained from your groin. Tap. And tap. Okay, now we're going to do a heel. We're going to do a heel tap. So instead of toe tap, toe tap, ah, heel tap. Ready? Heel tap. Same concept, but you're really pulling that leg down the leg. Keep it stacked. Don't let that posture get down. Stacked. And press. And press. Last time. Now we're going to do toe and heel. So toe, toe tap. Toe tap, heel, and heel. So it's toe, 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 and then heel every time. Now we're just going to go back to stepping. Step again. Okay, now we're going to do a last little cardio sequence. You're almost done. <laughs> you should be feeling a little bit of warmth, maybe some sweat. That's all good things. Okay, for our last cardio, we're going to be doing some chest presses. Bring your arms tall up like a goal post, okay? Now I want you to pull back the knuckles and stretch the thumb, or you can leave your hands in jazz hands. It's up to you. I'm gonna do the jazz hand for this one. Tall with the torso. Now I want you to think to center the tension 
right here in your back. If you're ever doing any of the step away workouts and you feel like you only activate your traps, you have to center that back there in the middle of the back. Ready? Here we go. So it's in and out, in and out. You're opening up, but you're keeping tall. You're keeping your low back activated, knees straight each time. Elbows stay up. If you're really activating the pecs and the lats, you will not touch in the middle. Good, and open. Last time, and open, bring those arms out. Jazz hands. Now it's time for posture power. Bring that right hand, bring the, your hand in, doesn't matter which one, and open all the way. Hand comes in, bring the elbow up on that side. So chest up, elbow up, and open out. This should feel wonderful on your shoulders, but make sure you keep jazz those hands. Other side, two, three, and open, two, three. Side, two, three, and open. Two more, in, two, three, and open. Last time, in, two, three, and open. Now we're gonna do alternating. Ready, here we go, keep the lower body going. Ready, and go. So it's in and open, in and open, in and open. Keep the chest tall every time. You're really stacking everything. Keep it straight, in and open. Feel that opening in your chest. Keep going arms there, I know, we're almost done. <laughs> Inhale, and exhale. Thumbs go back, last set of butterflies. Yes, you can reach through those fingers, and down. Two, and now we're going for eight, and down. Very good. This is five and out. Six and out. Stretch the thumb to the back wall every time. Seven and eight. Bring it down. Hunch it up. Woo! And release. Very good. Now let's go side to side. We're going to be cooling down now. Lead with the knee. Lead with the knee. Really keep it stacked. So especially right here, I don't want to see anybody. Not that I can see, but you know what I mean. Sticking your butt out and doing this. That's going to do nothing for your legs. Keep it stacked. Pubic bone pulls up. It's almost like you got a second belly button in there. You're pulling everything up while you go side to side. Squeezing between the shoulder blades. Very good. And now come to this. So it's one, two, three, and tap. Into those toes. Tap. One, two, three. One, two, three, and tap. One, two, three. And now do heel. So it's heel. Heel, heel tap, very good. Last time, heel tap. Now just step, hunch it up, and release. Feels so good, hunch up. Really get it up. Get those shoulders all the way up to those ears. Like you're trying to touch your earrings. If you have earrings on, I want you to touch your earrings with the top of your shoulder. Bring it up really high. Big breath into that diaphragm, and then release. One more time, hunch. As high as you can, I call this the gorilla arm position. It's not very flattering, but it sure works. And breathe into the diaphragm one more time. And then release. Two, three, and you're done. One bonus stretch for you, because when a lot of us get walking, we start to feel it in our SI joints, maybe a little bit, in that muscle that goes from your rib cage to your back, called the QL muscle. You're gonna love the stretch. So go out wide into a wide plie. Knees go over towards the little toe. Now, I want you to bring your elbow to your leg, to your thigh, and then put the top of your fingers on the inner knee. Bring that hand to the top. Now, most important here, tuck the tailbone under. Curl that lower back. This will protect your back as you stretch. Inhale. Now, press into that leg and reach through the fingers. Oh my goodness, right there, that QL muscle. Really feeling it. Now, flip the palm, reach it up all the way. Go to the other side. Elbow comes in now. You do not have the flexibility, I want you to go at your hip bone and down and then reach. If you have the flexibility, go a little lower. But regardless, curl the tailbone under, side you. Curl the tailbone under so you've got a nice C curve with your back. Stretch, look down, inhale. Press that elbow and hand and stretch to the side. You feel amazing on that side body. Flip the palm up, reach up and away. Last time, over to the side, inhale. Press and reach, two, three, flip the palm, two, three, reach up to the center. Last time on this side, then you're done. Inhale, push and stretch, two, three, flip the palm, bring it up into the center. Now bring those knees all the way up, and you did it. I hope that you love this workout. Have a great day.